Okay, let's um, take a look at um, the lasso select on here. I got an extremely good looking fella here to work with. And I'll start down here and I'll go up. Go over. And around. Cut my head off a little bit, but that's okay. good as I want to get. Get down to here, and that's probably good there. Um, so I'm going to do an edit, cut, and then I'll do edit, paste into new image, like that. And, um, and then I'm going <laughs> to, yeah, you can see I didn't do a great job here, um, but good enough for what it's for. Um, text here, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, make this 48 and um, uh, colors black, uh, yeah, let's do red, there we go. Click here and uh, Tank Wars. And um, it's a little bit too big. Still a little bit too big. Yeah, that's probably good. So tank wars. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had got the head a little bit better there, but oh well. Um, you get the idea. And bold. Uh, yeah, that probably makes it a little stand out a little bit more. Um, solid color, horizontal. Or some of these other options. I don't know what that means. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, underline, italics. I was hoping it'd be like something I could make the background, but uh, that's okay. Like that. Now I'm gonna go to my paintbrush, and I'm gonna choose pink. Now I'm gonna choose more, and specifically I want two fifty five zero two fifty five. Then I'll paste that. Oh, that's horrible. And I'll paste, th do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to zoom in here. Okay. And then I'll paste there. Paste there. Paste there. Okay. Now this is going to be uh, my introduction screen uh, to my game. So I'm going to do a say it, file save and uh, call this intro intro.png. Okay, I'll click OK on that. And that's fine. Okay, now I got another picture I just took. So I'm going to open this with, uh, I'm right clicking on that and I'm choosing open with uh, paint.net. This may be harder to um, to trace around, um, but let me try it. Again, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on this. You know, I'd, um, okay, so I'll start down to this corner, go up like that. Okay, then go over. I had a little bit of a good eye for this and I could probably do this better but you get the idea. Going around my head. Cutting part of my head off. Okay. Go over like this. Around my hand. Cut part of the finger off there, but oh well. Now this uh, tool kind of helps trace around it. I'm not doing as good a job as it looks. That's just a tool doing it for us. And then come up, cut part of my hand, uh, arm off. Okay, that's okay. Good enough. 
Okay, so I'll do an edit cut. And then I'll do an edit, paste in the new image. That's actually not too bad. Um, I'm going to put some text on this. Uh, I need my color window, which I close. I do a window colors. And um, pink is actually uh, 255, 0, 255 is what we want. So let me do my paint bucket before I start doing my text. Okay, there's one. And there's the other one. I don't know what's down here. I guess I better do it down here, too. There we go. Remember, the pink makes it uh, transparent. I choose my text here, and I choose uh, choose some kind of color. Uh, red's good, I guess. Maybe blue. Okay. Now I've got my text tool. And I'll click right here, and uh, say, Game Over. You lose. Okay, I centered it, and then I'll rearrange that and, and so forth. And I'll click this uh, select tool here, and uh, that'll be our game over. So I'll do a file, save, game over PNG. And I'll click OK there. Okay, so let's go over and um, I'm going to start a new game. Actually, uh, i got another sport, uh, sport files I want to create. I want to create uh, the Audacity file here. So I'm going to record something. And I want to record um, uh, uh, an explosion. Um, so this isn't going to be good. I'm not very good at sound. BAM! I wonder how that is. <laughs> BAM! Yeah, just so-so. Um, I could uh, click the record again. Let me try that again. Let me close that. BAM! BAM! Maybe I could do that sound. I don't like that. Uh, BAM might not be too bad, but... Um, yeah, let me save that. So, now I'll do a file. And um, I'm going to um, export. I know you can't see that real well because it's so small, but I can't make it bigger. And um, I call this BAM. And it's a WAVE file. So I want to choose WAVE. Do the drop down, choose WAVE. And click uh, Save. And uh, I want a little bit of background uh, music. So. Let me um let me create some. I'll do the record. <laughs> Low budget sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. So let me do a file export, and uh, if you didn't recognize that, that's Jeopardy. Um, and I'll m make this an MP3. Okay. So we got uh, Jeopardy MP3. And I'll click Save. And click OK. Okay, so now we, um, I'll close that. Let's go over to our game now. I'm going to do a File, New Project, and um, Windows Game, and I'll call this um, uh, Extra uh, Pieces. And click OK. Mm. Okay. Now we're going to bring on our images. So um, I'm going to come over here, right click on content, and I'll say add existing item. Change it to C, um, temp, um, Delmi, or no, here's some. Here's my BAM, and here's my Jeopardy. So I'll bring both those in and click add. Now, um, let me click Kabam. Notice down here that it says it's a sound effect. Uh, so a wave is a sound effect. This MP3, if I click down here, it says it's a song. So we're going to see different ways we've got to work with that. I need to bring in my images, so I'm going to right click on this and say Add Existing Item. And I'll choose my pictures, and um, I want to choose um, 
game over and I'm holding down my control key that's how I selected those before and um, my main eh, I don't want main because that's not pink let me choose um, my snake and then I'm gonna have um, oh I don't know um, well, I guess this monster here so I have those four and I click add now you can also add each of them individually okay well to begin with um, we're going to display our intro now if I come here see my asset name is intro so I'm gonna come up here and I'll do uh, texture 2D and I'll call this intro. Now the re uh, rectangle to put it in, so I'll, I'll have rectangle uh, rect underscore intro. Okay. And um, let's see. Come down to my load content. Um, I'm going to um, let's see do. intro equals content dot load texture 2d dot I meant, uh, beginning parentheses and then uh, intro there we go now I need my rectangle so I say my rectangle dot intro dot width is equal to the width of, I'm going to want it to width of the screen so I'm say graphics dot uh, graphics device dot viewport dot width and the height of my um, rectangle, I want the height of the screen. Equals graphics dot graphics device dot viewport dot height. Now I'm just typing the first few letters of that, and it's so cool because uh, if you press tab uh, after you just type a couple of letters, it'll fill it in for you. I'm not typing that fast, in case you're wondering. Now our um, rectangle, the x position should be zero. That's the upper left, and the um, the Y will be zero two. Again, that's the upper left hand corner. Okay, so let's um come down here and we want to draw those. Sprite batch dot begin and sprite batch dot draw and um, intro comma rect intro comma color dot white. always no tinting and sprite bash dot end okay now let's see what that looks like and okay yeah I know you're analyzing a suspicious program took forever last time it uh, popped up with that I really should uh, figure out how to disable that but I don't have much patience for sitting there clicking around settings trying to figure out how to turn turn this on or turn that on. Okay, continue execution. <laughs> and of course my image is in the rectangle, but uh, good enough. You see it's Tank Wars. Okay, so um, now if they push a button, let's say S for start, then I want to start the game. So we need to keep track of a flag. So I'm going to come up here to the very top where I declared my rectangle, my texture 2D, and I'm going to call it string, and um, this will keep track of where I'm currently at. So I'll call this status. And I'm going to have it equal to I initially. Now I um, will indicate the intro. Now you could actually type in intro here, like that. And then down here in my draw, I'm going to say if, and um, what I call it, status? no memory status dot equals intro then I want to um, I want to draw draw that okay now up here in the update uh, I'm gonna check for the keyboard push so I'm gonna say keyboard state KB and keyboard state is always that, and then KB is whatever you want to call it, equals keyboard dot get state. So this will get the, st uh, the current state of the keyboard. 
Now I'm going to check if KB dot is key down. Keys dot, I'll do S for start. Then my status is going to equal to uh, game. So the game is running. It's no longer, it's no longer in um, intro, but it's actually in the game. Okay, so let's just run this and see what happens. Okay, so I'm in my introduction here. Now, what I need on this uh, splash screen is I need to pr say press S to start. Because otherwise, people know they'll, they'll sit there and like, well, okay, this guy's kind of ugly. Why, why is his picture showing here? But if I press S now, you see my game's running. Okay, well, now I want to put my... Um, uh, and it's very easy to do. Uh, I think I even got paint.net still here running. Uh, here. I'm going to come and let me make it uh, blues good. And I'll do text. So I click the text tool here. 96 is maybe a little bit big for this. I'm going to say press S to start. And I'll put it up in that corner. Okay, and I click this. And um, I sure don't like that part right there, but um, if I was uh, fairly decent at uh, paint, which I'm not, uh, but if I'm fa fairly decent at it, I can come up here. Oh, I should wash my head. Um, choose my paintbrush here. There we go. And I want pink. Um, so let me just choose 255, 0, 255. There we go. And um, let me try to paint. Brush is too small. Okay. Now, if I want to be a little bit more precise on this, then I would, um, oops. I can zoom in even more. Cool. These are cool tools. Um, Adobe has Photoshop, if you have the money, but Paint.net is free, so you can't beat that. And again, I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time on this because you don't want to spend an hour watching me touch it up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's yeah, that's still not great, is it? But, ah, better, better anyway. Okay, so let me save this. Now I need to re re-import that in, so let me come over here to our game. And we've got our intro here, and I'll right-click on it. And there is a way to refresh this. I don't remember how it is. I just always delete it. And then add it back in. So right-click on the content, choose Add Existing Item. Intro. Okay, now let's run this. Eh, a little bit better. Now it says press S to start, so I know what's going on with it. So I press S, and it starts. Um, okay, now while our game is running, let me, um, mm, now this I always have to play with because I don't remember where it's at, uh, but let me come here. We just loaded our intro. So loaded, splash, screen for start a game. Remember the slash slash is how you do a comment. Uh, that means you're just documenting what you're going to do. So load in, loading in, song. And now um, remember our song was the um, mp3, the Jeopardy mp3. And um, I'm going to come up here and uh, remember how to texture 2D? Well I'm going to have song. And I'll call this uh, Jeopardy, like that. So I come down to my load, and uh, we're going to have song or what I call it, Jeopardy. Jeopardy is equal to content dot load song, and this will be Jeopardy. Okay, this Jeopardy here is what I declared it up above. This Jeopardy over here is the asset name. If I click Jeopardy here, 
See how it also has a, a asset name? So that's what you see there. Now let me come down um, to my... Uh, actually, I'll probably do it right here. Let me try Media Player. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember if I can loop this. Um, I'll do Media Player dot play, and then I'll put in um, uh, Son, which we call Jeopardy. Now, I notice that it um, says, uh, and no, this is kind of small, you probably can't see it on YouTube, but it says media player pl dot play song song. If I do the down arrow, song collection, if I do the down arrow again, it uh, tells me the, the index there. So I'm just doing play Jeopardy. Now, I think it'll just play one time with that, so let me run it. And I know you can't hear the sound, but I, because I got my headset on. But there's my. Um, very annoying Jeopardy thing. And it's just about done. Okay, there, then it finished. Okay, so let me do media player dot and you got a uh, different options available here. Is repeating. Um, so I'm going to say is repeating and I don't remember exactly if I let me say set that equal to true. Okay. Now that was way too loud in my head headsets, but let me do media player dot. Let me see if there's a sound up or volume. Volume equals or dot compared to equals get string volume is equal to. Actually, let me do dot volume and see what it says about volume. Gets or sets the media player volume. Okay, I don't know what to set it to. Let me try three. Too loud. Uh, one. <laughs> That's not changing anything. I must not have that correct unless it takes decimals. Nope, doesn't take decimals. Um, let's put an F. Okay, let me try that. volume doesn't appear to be working at all. <laughs> now I just type play with these until I get them. Okay, so what this is doing now is it's playing Jeopardy um, over and over. That is repeating equals true. That means um, it keeps on repeating. And, and I know you can't hear it because this is my headset. Um, but I'm going to come down here and um, in the S. If they press S, besides setting status equal to game, I want to stop that annoying Jeopardy song. Now I'm going to put the curly brackets on this. Beginning curly bracket and closing curly bracket. That means for this if statement, uh, when, when the S is pressed, it not only will say change status to equal game, but it'll, um, I'm going to shut off the media player. So I'll do media player stop. So stop, stop that immediately. Okay, so now if I press, uh, no, okay, what do I need? There. Beginning. Let me try that. Okay. Annoying Jeopardy theme is playing. Um, I want to make sure it repeats. Okay. I'll press S and it stopped. I wish you could hear the sound on that. Um, but it's what you heard me whistle when I was recording it is what's playing. So if you've got an MP3 that you want to play over and over, um, then that's the way you can do it. Now let me try to find something a little bit more pleasing um, than what I what I found there. And I'm gonna go to Google, my best friend, I'll enter Bach, um, MP3, download. And, okay, here's uh, John Sebastian Bach. Actually, I I wonder if I can get this, the Rolling Stones. MP3 download. So Rolling Stones MP3. As you can probably guess, these aren't free, and um, I'm not really sure if I want to go to these these sites and get get like a virus. <laughs> um, so let me go back to Bach. 
Hope they would put a, um, a virus on a Bach download, right? Okay. Come here. And, um, let's see. I'm looking for an MP3. Um, <laughs> I have no clue what any of these are. Kazona in D minor. Let me click that. Okay. And uh, I want to download it. Surely there's a link for a download somewhere. Amazon. Buy it. I don't want to buy it. Um, block. Info and download. I bet this is it. Let me click that. Okay, venue, best quality, good quality. I'm going to click this good quality, which is MP3. Yeah. Okay, that's actually not too bad. So I'm going to right-click on that and save target as. And I'll put it, uh, I'm going to rename it bach.mp3. I don't want that weird uh, name on it. Click save. Of course, if you're going to do this for a real game, uh, something you want to sell, you don't you don't want to steal um, music. <laughs> We're just doing it for learning purposes. And uh, it's kind of big. You'll find that the more uh, sound files and everything you import into your project, the larger it gets. So you have to be kind of careful on it. Um, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my game. Then I want to import Bach. So I'm going to right click and say add existing item. And I put this under C colon temp and Bach. Okay, well, Bach has an asset name of Bach, so let's come over here. This is another song, so I don't have to call this Bach. I can call it whatever I want. It's so like if I could, I want to do song underscore Bach, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, load it in over here. So, down here, I'm going to say song Bach equals content dot load song Okay. Now, Jeopardy's currently playing that annoying thing I created. So I'm come down here to the uh, update, and when I press S, I'm going to stop the current media that's playing, and I'm going to say media player dot play, and then I'll put in Bach or Son Bach, I guess I should say. Okay, so let's uh, let's start this. Kind of slow. There's my annoying Jeopardy theme, theme song. Press S. And now we have Bach playing. It's actually kind of cool. Cool music. <laughs> You'll find some of the classical music. Some pretty cool uh, music for games and so forth. Um, okay. Now we want to draw, put our, our picture on here. Um, so let me see. Which one is our... Snake, I guess, was what our main character is going to be. So I'm going to say texture 2D um, snake, and I'm also going to have texture 2D the monster. Okay, I need the rectangles for them. So I'll say rectangle rect snake and rect monster. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. Loaded in my music, my songs, so I'm going to load in, load in images. Okay, so now I'm going to say, um, let me see, what do I call them? Um, main character? Snake. Call it a snake equals content dot load texture 2D snake. And um, then my rectangle for the snake, I'll say rect uh, snake dot width is equal to the snake dot width. So it sets the width of the rectangle the width of the image. And I'll say rect snake dot height is equal to snake uh, or yeah snake dot height. So that sets the rectangle's height to the height of the snake. 
and then rect snake dot x is equal to 50 and rect snake dot y is equal to 50. Okay, let's load in our next image, which was the monster. So monster equals to content dot load texture 2D monster. And I'll say rect monster, oops, dot width is going to be the uh, monster width. So width of the rectangles, width of the image. And rect monster dot height is equal to monster dot height. And rect uh, monster dot x is equal to 200. And rect monster dot y is equal to 200. So I'm going to have it in a different location. Now we don't want to um, to write this out um, while it's on the, the initial splash screen. So we're going to have another if statement here. If status uh, status dot equals and I think I called a game, didn't I? Remember up here? When I when they press S, that starts game mode. And it starts song playing, starts Bach playing. So if it's the game, then what I want to do is I'm going to put a beginning curly bracket, closing curly bracket, and then within that, I'm going to say sprite batch dot draw, and I'm going to draw my um, snake, and then my um, wrecked snake, and then color dot white. And I'll do a sprite bash dot draw. And I'll choose um, monster. Rect monster. Color dot white. Okay, so let's run this and see if that's uh, that part's working. This is kind of an incremental approach. <laughs> that. Oh, because I didn't uh, muster one. Our asset name. Remember that has to match your asset name. So I call it muster one. Okay. Now the rose. Okay, let me press S. There's our Bach playing. I know you can't hear Bach, but... Now actually, um, I'm playing Bach. I want to make sure it's repeating. I'm not sure if I stop it, if it keeps repeating. So down here, where I'm starting to play Bach, I want to set the media player to repeating. So I'll say media player dot is repeating equals true. Okay. Um, now I want to be able to move my character. So I'm going to say if kb dot is key down, keys, oops, keys dot left, Then I want to move the rectangle to snake, so I say rect snake dot x equals rect snake dot x minus three. And if kb dot is key down, keys dot right, then I'll say rect snake dot x is equal to rect snake dot x plus three. And if kb dot is key down, um keys dot up and then rec snake dot y is equal to rec snake dot y minus three and if kb dot is key down keys dot down then rec snake dot y is equal to rec snake dot y plus three Now, um, I could actually put that inside the game mode. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter. Let me click that. <coughs> Press S to get rid of that. Horrible, horrible. And uh, box sounding. And you see my character's moving around. When the snake uh, touches the monster, I want the game to end. I want it to play my uh, other sound I created. 
actually hear myself over that. <laughs> Bach is a little bit loud. Uh, I wish I could figure out how to control the volume on that. But uh, How I discover how to do some of this stuff is I Google it. Um, sometimes I just play. Um, and it's the only way you can learn is try different options. You know, take a look at what else Media Player does. You know, come here, do Media Player dot. It is shuffled, it is muted, um, gets our sets of muted setting. Uh, these are all the different uh, options you can uh, choose on this. Move next. Uh, we only have one song, but we'll talk more about collections later on. Okay. Well, we um, we want to we're we're currently in game mode, and we want to check a collision. We want to see if our um, snake runs into the monster. And if it does, then uh, we're going to uh, play a sound and end the game and and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to say here if, and then I'll put rect snake dot um, intersects, and I'll say rect monster. That means my snake ran into my monster. Then uh, I want to. Um, I don't want to exactly end the game. I do want to stop that music. So I'll say media player dot stop, and that'll stop uh, Bach from playing. And um, I want to change my status to the end, like that. Now, one thing I'm going to do with the end is I'm going to display my other picture. So I need to bring in my picture. So my intro and um, end, end game, that's what I called, and then I got wrecked, end game. Now end game is going to be um, this picture right here. So I'm gonna come down here. I need to load the picture in, so I, this is my load content. And um, once you get going with these, I'd recommend typing them in until you get comfortable with them. Once you get going with them, then you can just take this code and, and uh, right-click, copy after you've highlighted it, and then paste it in here. And then you can just change this to whatever you're working with. So this is in game, and my asset name asset name for that. Well, what was it called? Game over PNG. So this would be called game over. Now the it'll be wrecked. Um, what I call it, in game. Hopefully, it'll give me an error if I didn't. In game here, and uh, in game here, and in game here. Okay. Now we already did our collision. If it um if they intersect, then I'm changing my status to end. So down here, I'm gonna have another if statement. So I'm gonna say if status dot equals end. And I'll put the beginning curly bracket and closing curly bracket. And I'll say sprite batch dot draw and uh, end game rect in game and then color dot white okay so let me just uh, try that part see if I got it working okay here's my introduction now I'm gonna I need to turn that volume down Couldn't hear myself even talk. Okay, so I'll press S to start the game. Okay. Now box playing in the background. It's at a very decent volume. So I can move the snake around. Snake intersects the monster. It says game over, you lose. Um, now I, I could put another key here to say uh, press uh, something to exit the game. Um, but that's that's good enough. Now this show the here we showed you um, how to have different um, uh, states of your game. Now um, they're just different pictures uh, that we have on there, but uh, you, that's how you can how you can do it. Now we want we got one more sound, and this was my bam I created. Remember when I recorded it, it said bam. Um, well, that's what we want to bring in. 
Now that's not a song, it's a wave file, which is a sound effect. So I'm going to come up here and I'll declare a sound effect. And I'll call it BAM. Now as you can imagine, I want to load it in. So I come down here to my my load, uh, load content section. And I'm going to say uh, BAM is equal to content dot, oops, content dot load and we'll put in sound effect. Now here's your asset name. Now I call mine bam.wave. So you see how asset name is bam. So bam. And we just load it in the sound effect. So down here when we do our collision, I not only want to stop the media player, but I want to play my uh, sound effect. So say bam.play. And I don't remember if I need that. Uh, I'll put that there just in case. So very simple, just plays it. So let me run this. Okay, there's my annoying Jeopardy uh, whistling. Press S to start the game. Bach is playing in the background. I know you can't hear it, but uh, Snake's moving around. BAM didn't work quite right. Did I not record that correctly? Let me see. BAM! Yeah, maybe I didn't play it right. Wave files are kind of kind of tricky. I probably should have saved it as a, as a um, MP3. But let me see what other options are for play. Okay, we can just play it. Or you can change the volume. Oh, so here we can change the volume. Uh... Well, try try that one more time. S. And I'll touch that. Boy, that's really bad. Um, let me go back to my audacity, and let me record it again. I'm I'm gonna save it as MP3 this time though. Bam. BAM! Okay, that's good. So I'll do File, Export, and um, uh, MP3. Obviously my quality of my WAV file wasn't very good, uh, what, I, what I heard. And then I'll click uh, Save there. Wait a minute, I don't want WAV. I want that to say BAM MP3. Now, of course, by doing this, it's no longer a sound effect, so that doesn't really show you the sound effect. Um, I I did a sound effect earlier, just remember remember how to do it, and it worked fine. Um, but where did I put that at? Okay, bam. Dot play. I did it in the intersect. Oh, because it keeps on intersecting. Okay, let me um. <laughs> so, which is kind of bad because then it just keeps playing that. Um, if they intersect, I want to set the rectangle of the snake. I was wondering. Dot X. Set it back to zero and set the uh, rect snake dot Y equals zero. Because otherwise, otherwise it keeps on intersecting and then keeps on playing that bam over and over, and that's why it's sounding so weird. So let me play that. Okay, S to start the game. Now I'll move my snake and intersect. Bam! And bam. Okay. Uh, well, that's what I wanted to do. So that worked fine then. Uh, so that shows you your sound effect. Okay. Um, so we've introduced um, sound into this. And it, you know, you're not really restricted to like music or anything like that. That MP3 and the sound effects, you can have uh, voices there. I did bam, which wasn't that great. But um, you can see how you can do that. Anyway, um, the next um, project we're going to be doing, and uh, that'll be next week, um, we'll be taking a look at um, uh, how to do Space Invaders. And um, hopefully I'll be able to steal some good sounds instead of <laughs> some of these hokey ones I create, but um, we'll see how to build that.